Hi, I'm Ricky Moser with Lion Athletics here with Jason Burton, the head women's basketball coach here for AM Commerce, as the Lions get set to prepare for their longest road trip of the season. Coach, thank you for being here with us. Uh, last week, your team went 2-1, and one, wins coming against Dallas Christian, Midwestern State. Unfortunately, one loss coming against a hot shooting Cameron team. Talk about your team's performance in each of those three games. Uh, I thought we... I thought we came back from a, a tough West Texas trip and, and turned around on Monday with very little preparation and, and really did a good job against Dallas Christian. And then a uh, little shorter week to prepare for Midwestern and uh, Cameron with that game, but turned around and, and Thursday really, really played well against a Midwestern team that beat us the first time around. And so uh, that was always a good feeling to avenge that loss that we had. And then uh, a really, really quick turnaround on Saturday against Cameron and that's the one thing about Cameron that you kind of fear is that they really, really are capable of shooting the ball well. And uh, we didn't do the best job on Saturday of closing out the shooters, uh, gave them too many uncontested shots, and they capitalized on all of them. And, and other than that, you look at the game, and we didn't really turn the ball over. We out-rebounded them. I thought we got the ball where we wanted it. We got the ball to the paint, got several and ones down the stretch. Um, it was just like every time we wanted to run, they hit us with a three. And so uh, uh, I really tip our hats off to them, I think, that – I think it's a young coach over there that's doing a really, really good job, and and that team is starting to get more confidence, and they have a they have a team that is really going to be scary. Look ahead to next year, and because everybody's coming back for the most part, and so um, uh, still proud of our girls' effort. I think that that we've we've saw some things in that game that we can learn from. Our communication's got to get better defensively, especially on the road, and so uh, that's what we'll focus on this week is just tightening up some things defensively, but. The good thing is we're still scoring the ball. I think our offense, we're very confident in, in our offense, our, our ability to move the ball around, and and um, we have multiple people on our team that can shoot the ball. And you look at Princess Davis, who's somebody that people think can't shoot and, and had her best career performance ever on Saturday, went 5-9 of nine from 3 and had 31 points. So a lot of confidence in her and a lot of confidence in this team moving forward. With that win against Midwestern State, you've now beat each conference opponent once this season. What does that kind of do for the psyche of the team or the mentality going forward saying now that we kind of restart cycle two of conference play that we've beat each of these teams at least once that has to do something positive for the team. Oh, I think it gives us a lot of confidence and a lot of confidence in the conference tournament knowing that we can beat anybody on any given night. Uh, but I think the, the Cameron game is a wake up call too that that now that we've beaten teams, teams are going to really want that payback on us. And so uh, we have to make sure that we come in more focused and, and uh, that we don't have the game slippage um, um, and we make sure that um, we prepared just as hard this time around as we did the first time. And I think we really took our scout serious. I think we really did a good job of focusing on the opponent at hand, not looking ahead. And that's something that we have to continue to do. And so uh, right now our focus on Western New Mexico, I know that they, they're 0-20 right now. And, and uh, we definitely did a good job at home beating them, I think it was 81-40. to 40, But you know, they, just, they just played West Texas and Canyon, a tough place to play, and only lost by 12. And so um, them going back home, if I'm Western New Mexico, we got a little bit of confidence knowing that we're, we're continuing to get better. And so we have to make sure that we continue to get better and, and uh, go out to Western New Mexico focused and ready to play. And that trip against Western New Mexico all the way out in Silver City, yeah. a long trip, and then on that game's on Thursday. And then on Saturday, you have to kind of come back a little bit closer to home, play Eastern. That That's going to be a tough game as well. But you made this trip before last year, so you're a little bit more familiar, but it still has to be – tough on the team one would think it's definitely tough uh and we've looked at as a staff we've looked at this six game stretch that we have and it's our it's our toughest stretch of the year um you know 15 hours away that's where silver city is from us and uh, luckily we're gonna fly uh that the first leg and we'll fly fly back home but it's still seven hours in between silver city and Fort Dallas, and so that's the that's the drive you got to make on friday um and as a staff our job is to make sure we prepare our girls the best way possible and sometimes that means scaling back on practice and really focusing in on scouting reports and making sure they get rest and get off their feet and get their legs back, um, doing a good job of stretching and things like that. But uh, our girls are going to have to to be ready to play with uh, with less prep time on the floor and uh, more scout time. But I think I think at this point in the year, uh, we kind of know what we have to do. Um, a lot of it is, is maintenance and maintaining our bodies. And so... Uh, it is a long trip and followed up by next week, another long trip to Kingsville and Angelo. And, and then the following week, you have a short a short week with a away game at Tarleton on Tuesday and then TWU at home. And so uh, it starts now with that preparation of making sure we're taking care of our bodies, we're hydrating and all that kind of thing um, leading up into this week right now. Is there any 
particular or certain disadvantage you think you might face playing out of state, either not just in New Mexico, but any game out of state, especially when there is a time zone change like there is this weekend? Maybe there is, but uh, they have to do the same thing when they come to our place. And so uh, at this point in the year, we don't give ourselves excuses. We don't allow ourselves to have any excuse. We're sitting in first place right now. And um, at the end of the day, we want to be in first place after the next game we play. And so it doesn't matter um, you know, what the time zone is, or if we want out of state or not, we have to prepare ourselves for uh, adversity. And that's something that we've talked about all year is that you're, we're going to come into, we're going to face adversity. And our team is going to be, uh, our season is going to be determined by how we how we face adversity. And so that's a challenge of crossing time zones, the challenge of playing out of states, the challenge of playing outside of our comfort zone. But um, that's something that everybody has to do at this point in the year to to win the conference. And so uh, it's no different for us. All right, Coach. Best of luck this weekend. Appreciate it. No problem. The Lions will play Western New Mexico on Thursday at 6:30, and then play Eastern New Mexico on Saturday at three. You can catch both games on Line Athletics and, of course, catch all the stats right there. For Coach Burton, I'm Ricky Moser. Thank you.